hello dear students today we will start the new chapter means uh, grammar english grammar the annual syllabus the second chapter is adjective last we read that adverbs and now we will read the adjective you all know a uh, little bit about this uh, grammar topics these are all parts of speech and these are very vital in a sentence it has its own importance as we know about adjective adjective is uh parts of speech is such a word that always gives uh some extra information about a noun in a sentence or sometimes change the information about a noun suppose if i say uh blue bag okay blue bag so blue is the adjective blue is the adjective and bag is noun so here if i say a bag so bag means uh, obviously a bag may be different color different size and uh, when i say blue bag then uh, blue the word it adjective it always sits before a noun so blue gives something extra information about the bag or change the information bag now if i say blue then something definite which bag blue bag if i say the big blue bag in one sentence we can use more than one adjective big blue bag then it defines better it defines better and say something extra about the bag the big blue bag so we can use this way uh, many other sentences you know and you can say with the adjective but what you don't know or what you have to know in more detail that is the other varieties or types of adjectives there are total eight types of adjectives we use but we when we use we don't know all the details uh, or we don't remember all the details but we use frequently now this is the time in class 4 we have designed the syllabus in such a way that you have to know about the adjective but a little bit detail so uh, i wish whenever you will see the video whenever listen to my voice that time if you keep your books uh, with you your grammar book and open the chapter adjective then you can see all uh, the things written about the adjective and the eight different types of adjectives okay now uh, if you have the book is uh, book with you then you just look at the page uh, number 56 there you see the different kinds of adjectives first one is the adjective of quality suppose what i say to you uh, big blue bag or the blue bag that is uh, the blue bag means it's one kind of quality small village so what is the size of the village what is the area of the village that is the small village so these are the qualities next uh, adjective of quantity if i say give me enough food enough means little uh, bit extra give me enough food why because i am hungry give me enough food when you say suppose you are, you are telling to your mother mother give me enough food because i am very hungry so enough food means it's about quantity food not only less suppose you generally eat two breads now you will take four bread because you are hungry or six bread so give me enough food or as much as possible means enough food as much as possible means that means when uh, until you satisfy your hunger that much you will take the food that means enough food food is noun enough is adjective so what kind of adjective adjective of quantity now next number 3 you just look at your book you can see the book pages here i am talking about that page number 56 you can see page number 56 here all the kinds and varieties are there total eight kinds are there that you have to read and remember now number 3 that is the adjective of number so how can i say that one uh, you can see here many people were killed in the train accident so there were massacre many people were killed people you can count so it creates a number 
all the boys have gone to picnic so all the boys so you can count suppose in a section lilavati all the boys all the boys means suppose there are i am telling you one number suppose 23 or 20 boys so i can count the number of the boys so that means here uh, all the boys this all denotes an adjective so all means a number or quantity uh, number of the uh, boys here it is an adjective so it becomes an adjective of number next the demonstrative adjective number 4 demonstrative adjective means when you say something by pointing out this boy is the first boy in the class so this boy which boy this boy you are pointing out you are demonstrating about one particular boy this boy or i hate such things mean suppose Uh, somebody is fighting or somebody is using very bad language or somebody is uh, um, behaving very uh, odd with uh, his or her, her pals friends in that case you can say i hate such things means you are giving an example after happening one incident or anything you are giving the example of it i hate such things which things this such thing this such type means you are giving that as a reference so here it becomes a demonstrative such uh, these these become a demonstrative adjective next number 5 that is the interrogative adjectives interrogative you know always starts with wh words which whose these are the things which way shall we go suppose you are going to a picnic spot so which way shall we go suppose left side there is another way right side there is another way or many ways may be there so which way i will go so you are asking one question which way way is the noun so which way means the you are asking about the particular way here which becomes an interrogative adjective interrogative means interrogation is there means the question is there but it is it is uh, fulfilling the duty of an adjective that means change the information of the noun or uh, say something better about the noun that is why interrogative adjective okay next number 6 that is a possessive adjective possessive why means it shows something possession it is my book you can see in the video can you see watch the video watch the background watch my background properly in the back side wall you see there is one bag is hanging can you see the bag yellow color bag if i say this is my bag my means it belongs to me so this creates a uh, the possession i possess this bag means this shows the sense of possession this is my bag this is my bag this is my bag my bag means my is the possessive adjective okay if i say that is your pen it is my pen it is my mobile so my is possession okay so here it becomes a possessive adjective my your he is hard okay in this way we can understand uh, next distributive number 7 distributive adjective distributive means each of the student everybody should get the sweets each of the student should get the uh, food packet means each every either neither all these things you have to just remember by the words you have to just remember which adjective and what what is the purpose what is their kind in this way question may come in exam suppose i have written one sentence and there i will ask underline the words the adjectives and i can ask the kind of that adjective okay these are the distributive adjective number 7 number 8 the last one it is a proper adjective proper you know can you remember about the proper noun what is the proper noun when i i am pointing out anything by some particular name or particular direction then it becomes a proper noun suppose uh, if i say boys please stand up so boys this is a common noun if i say ayush please stand up so ayush one particular boy so there ayush become the proper noun but here i am talking about the proper adjective proper adjective means what proper adjective means when i am saying a particular group by uh, one particular name suppose here it is one written one sentence you can see Uh, indians are famous for their heroism heroism means if you want to go back to the history once again then you can see there are many freedom fighters 
in our country netaji subhash chandra bose then uh, many others are there you can uh, tell their names because you are also in social studies book you read so many uh, names of our earlier heroes nowadays also you can say easily our prime minister narendra modi he is also an hero because in his guidance uh, india is improving day by day developing really developing so that i am just giving you my uh, opinion and uh, i am just giving one example opinions may vary people to people okay let it uh, what i want to say indians are famous for their heroism so indians there are citizens but i am telling them by one particular name indian so india one proper uh, noun and then indians uh, are famous means here i am calling the people by that name so indians when i am writing then it becomes a proper adjective next you see um, japanese food is also available in indian markets so japan to japanese india to indian so these japanese and indian are proper adjective in this way you can remember there are total eight kinds of adjective we have to read this we have to know this all these things we have to read properly today's task is that you just see this video this explanation you try to understand and read the chapter by yourself these two days you have to do this task next we will send definitely some uh, exercise for practice purpose okay dear thank you and always take care of your health thank you